Hi everyone. Today we are on a short journey that we will be doing about 10 times in the following weeks. So we thought great opportunity to establish a reference trip and understand efficiency and consistency of the Ionic. So in this first episode, I want to lay down the track we've taken, the parameters that we will be watching and varying as well, and of course, the output measures. So let's get to it. It's just a less than 10 mile strip, combining about a third of urban driving and two thirds of motorway limited at 50 miles per hour. So that gives us a bit of a mix. The parameters we will be watching are temperature, both outside temperature at the start, as well as the battery temperature. So the car might have been used before starting and that should have an influence on the efficiency of the car. The state of charge at the start of the journey, whether the battery has been preconditioned. So typically that means having used the energy to heat up the battery and get it ready to go, as well as the cabin. Whether we're using regeneration, what level, are we setting the heating on and, or air conditioning? Although um, we're starting in winter, so that will typically be heating. Are we using the heated seats and the heated steering wheel? Now, in terms of output, it's quite simple. We will be measuring the efficiency in miles per kilowatt hour because that's what the car displays. We will be also using car scanner to double check the readings on our total consumption, our total uh, charge and discharge on the trip. We will be keeping an eye on the speed, just making sure the average speed for the journey is going to be consistent from trip to trip. We will, of course, take a look at the end state of charge as well. So let's get started for this reference trip today. The car is fully charged, showing 121 miles available without heating but we are putting the heating on in fact full-blown heating there all the heated seats the steering wheel as well as 20.5 celsius in the cabin which means it reduces the predicted range to 107 miles by the arrival we are have done 9.4 miles 24 miles per hour we are left with 109 miles. We've achieved four miles per kilowatt hour. To establish even further this reference trip, we have another go at going back and forth and we track the results as well. This is what we see. 4.4 miles per kilowatt hours. Now, if we put all the results into the table, this is what we get. So what do you think influences consumption? Have I missed some parameters? Let me know in the comments what else you want to see in that table. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned to more episodes on our reference trip.